friends welcome let us take the new case in linear correlation this time we are with a very special problem in india and in many other countries this type of problems are asked frequently in the examinations the point is error in the collected data whenever the data was collected or recorded there was an error later on the error is found we required to find out the correct value of coefficient of correlation the case is the following results have been obtained for two variables x and y and number of observations 25 sigma xy 508 sigma x 125 sigma x square 650 sigma y 100 and sigma y square 460 while checking later or while checking it was found that two pairs 8, 12 and 6, 8 were wrongly taken as 8, 6, 14 and 8, 6 determine the correct value of correlation coefficient that means actually the data collected consisted 8, 12 and 6, 8 but somehow at the time of recording the data these two pairs were wrongly written as 6, 14 and 8, 6. That means all these summations are incorrect. They include these values of x and y which are wrong. The summations should include these two values. Now, first of all we have to rectify these summations. What is the simple rule of rectification? Remove the effect of wrong values and add or include the effect of correct values. So first of all, let us make the corrections of all summations, correct or right summations, or totals, and first of all, n, it was 25, we removed two pairs and we included two correct pairs, so n remains 25. Similarly, what about sigma xy? It was 508. Now remove 132 that is effect of wrong pairs and include 144 or add 144 that is effect of, effect of correct pairs. So it comes to 520. Sigma x it is 125 before any rectification subtract effect of wrong values of x 14 and add the effect of correct values of x again 14 so it remains 125 now sigma x square it is given to be 650 before any rectification we have to remove the effect of wrong values of x square 100 and we have to add the effect of correct values of x square is also 100 so it remains 650 sigma y given to be 100 we have to remove the effect of wrong values of y 20 and we have to add the effect of correct values of y that is also 20 so it remains 100 and sigma y square it is 460 before any rectification. We have to remove the effect of wrong values of y square 232 and we have to add the effect of correct values of y square. So ultimately we are going to subtract 24 from 460 so it will be now 436. All these are now correct values after rectification. If we substitute all these values into the formula of coefficient of correlation, we can have the correct or right value of coefficient of correlation. Let us do it. And we are going to use that versatile formula n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y upon under root n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square into under root n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square let us substitute the correct values n is 25 
sigma x y 520 minus sigma x 125 and sigma y 100 upon under root n 25 sigma x square 650 minus sigma x 125 the whole square into under root n 25 sigma y square now that is rectified value 436 minus sigma y 100 the whole square 25 into 520 will be 13,000. 125 into 100 will be 12,500. Upon under root, 25 into 650 will be 16,250. The square of 125 will be 15,625. Into under root, 25 into 436 will give us 10,900. Minus square of 100 is 10,000. So, it is something like this. 500 upon under root 625 into under root 900. So, it is ultimately 500 upon square root of 625 is 25 and square root of 900 is 30. So it is ultimately 500 upon 750 or say 2 by 3 or say approximately 0.667. This is the correct value of coefficient of correlation. So the thing is we have to remove the effect of wrong values from the given summations and we have to add the effect of correct values to the previously given summations. The result will be write or correct summations, substitute them into the formula and we will get the correct value of coefficient of correlation. Thank you very much.